Hello, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources. So, probably today I'm going to be building building that I didn't build in years. Yes, you heard right. You, you guys in the comment sections are at fault, are to blame, are everything that's wrong with the world today. You made me do stuff. So let's go and cover the comment section where uh, Steph Berg had to rattle the cage, had to poke the bear. And uh, yeah, just because of him, if this all goes belly up, tits up, up all four in the air if the republic goes bust it's his fault because i am making my first orphanage in years Ta-da! i hope everybody is happy now because no i'm kidding yeah i, I wanted to test it to see if anything changed uh that's what de that will definitely help us with the growth which i don't think it's a problem uh, because uh, after the last time like I said we got like 500 people in like five months I didn't import anybody the money is slightly dropping but we need to um, we need to export more you can see that uh, the food exports I think I think I wish I wish I haven't killed that fish that food exports ah right we already have some vehicles on the way um i want to say we have capacity to export more but no there's no capacity no capacity whatsoever everything else is being exported it is what it is uh, the money is dropping because stuff is being built stuff being electricity water supply sewage new residential buildings old residential buildings being put in operation and that's why we housed everybody and now we're gonna focus on uh, further growth so one orphanage will be here now we're building it but there will be more uh I, i'm pretty sure we're gonna need more way more orphanages i will focus on that i think we might have a problem with population later but he is right. Steph Berg said in a comment a couple of days ago, actually over a day ago now. Now bear in mind that Uliki's family is visiting. My cousin is here, some couple of their friends. And Uliki was being a tour guide. If you're on Discord or, or even on YouTube, I put a couple of notifications about the episodes being late, yada, 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 all this stuff that is annoying, like Uliki. Uh, that, yeah, yeah, things are being done. Uh, what I'm gonna do now that I can see we can improve is asphalting these roads. Uh, I think... I think we can do it this way. I, I will avoid doing this one, but... Ooh, let me see. Ah, of course it will. Um, yeah, let's remove this. Let's put asphalt over everything. Yoink. And then let's reconnect to the mud roads. Use the mud roads, people. Uh, asphalt is being laid. Just asphalt, no street lights. Um, I need to show you something quickly. Shipko, shipko. The pollution. Pollution is gone. Now, I built a third pollution monitoring station. And I actually have a little bit of explanation to old Gala. The reason why I usually don't put the pollution uh, monitoring stations in the cities. I think they look ugly. Uh, ugly in an industrial way. They look industrial and I don't like them in the city. Maybe it's a stupid explanation. And maybe it sounds like a lie. Maybe it is. Maybe I'm lying to myself. So, yeah, uh, but um, I, I didn't like them. I, I don't know. I'll probably have to put them. Uh, this really needs to be finished. Uh, this one, not the five minutes done. That's perfect. We're going to assign some of the construction offices. Let's see. These guys are busy. Uh, number two, number three, number four, all free. So let's start building uh, the pumping station. Number two. Uh, let's see, plumbing, oh no, 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 that's number two. Uh, you need to get rid of the first one, second one is fine. The first one we're gonna put it a uh, bus three, because it's actual structure, building, overhead, like b b bigger building, not pipes. 
and then this one can go number four i don't really care let them just finish it as soon as possible we need to keep kicking this out of the ballpark we do have a few of them uh the next thing i'm gonna do is feed the construction industry demolition industry pardon me uh feed the demolition industry can we have this one yes we can let's uh clean this up let's try to tidy it up um a couple of things i'm gonna be honest with you i think i made a mistakes about even though it looks ideal it's not per it's not big deal but it's an interesting deal like i think i would like to put containers in between these Ooh, resource missing chemicals pause for a cause this needs to be addressed uh what's with the chemicals there's not even a vehicle on the way uh interesting uh you what who is distributing chemicals do we need separate distribution for chemicals or not let's see there's no vehicles on the way there's no chemicals being delivered and stuff distribution is distributing stuff uh, stuff distribution is over here okay you have some covered hull vehicles road cargo station is supposed to be getting everything and do we have chemicals here no we don't because these guys are supposed to be taking chemicals from the chemical storage which they are not doing okay perfect 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 we found out what the problem is let's go and select the chemical storage and tell these guys to load chemicals from here from zero of course so let me see yes this is the one perfect chemicals will flow again on pause let's get cracking yeah so uh, i think storage here would help actually am i correct here no actually i think i'm wrong because I wanted to say that this dump is going to st stay full constantly because this one wasn't pulling the waste. But looks like it actually is pulling waste. I was wrong. This setup is great, even though uh, in between storages would help. And it would not take a lot of space. I think it would be better if I put storage in between them. Um yeah it would be just a little bit more buffer buffer means nothing um well means means very little if you don't get notification about this like first time ever leak is doing this i'm storing dirty water or non purified water which is still 93 percent uh, clean and i'm storing uh, both this and this water so there's a lot of storage happening here in, uh, just in case if something goes wrong we have a buffer but um yeah should i be notified if this is uh if this ooh, look at the bar 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 going down <laughs> let's go no i'm not gonna mess with this um uh, <clears throat> continue doing what you're doing only 40 cubic meters a day are we using that's cool uh usually the, uh, why is this so low is because we are only using the drinkable water for drinking and industrial water for industries so uh, they're totally separated here for chemical industries and the clothing there's a water well and we are taking the surface input for our concrete production and and nothing else just for that whoa there's no pumping station in between ah but it's not uh, causing any problems that's really great huh the quality is really dirty though uh how much oh and but they don't need they need 55 percent this is also a good thing for you guys to notice for for all of us look at the how dirty this is where the water is this is where the water intake is it's absolutely red the reddest it can be uh actually i think there's no this is due to grass i think this is the dirtiest it can be and it's uh the uh no it's not really but the quality of water is 75 percent so it's like great water great water quality for concrete uh acceptable water quality for concrete okay um let's let's move on let's move on we broke the record of well of this map how many vehicles we had and finally we have the storages here let's go biological waste plastic waste 
metal waste, biological, plastic, metals, just we have extra, and a lot of um, a lot of other waste capacity. Do you have uh, the distance? Yes, it does. The only distance I'm not sure if we have. I need to check this. Oh, come on, please, 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 please. Yes, voila! Everything is 104, uh, 23 meters. Uh, we have, I'm building a new residential building here, which actually I should have to run with this. Uh, let's do one more time like this. Uh, let's just go like this and this. And I would like this. Uh, please construct. There we go. Boom. Uh, and I'm pretty sure this is going to be in range. Uh, this is not that far. This is much closer than the other buildings. So, yeah, the more residential buildings. Uh, we do have capacity now. You can see here 145, 145, barely anybody lives. This will fill up pretty fast uh, because living conditions, living quality is absolutely great in our little country. I'm thinking big, big, uh, not really, actually, I think we have decent amount of loans and um, I'm kind of focus, trying to focus on this, look, we got 4 million borrowed, we have less, less than 2 million to return, so this looks absolutely great, if I want to go into savings mode, I think I can even repay a couple of these loans fully, uh, actually, it's these two, first two. But they are actually pretty low in... Uh, they're they're going to disappear, this one in 100 days, this one in a year and a half-ish. So yeah, I'm not going to focus on that. We have a shopping center here, fully functional. I'm going to have to monitor this. Uh, goods missing? No, I, we need a notification button if there's more people uh, than usual in the shops. That would be better notification than if the goods are missing. Yeah, goods are missing is also important and should i be getting this notification uh, maybe i should maybe that sounds like a good notification to have oh pause yeah look at the meat meat is a problem a problem that means we don't have enough meat trucks uh on pause meat trucks uh workshop items again refrigeration trucks Total capacity, bigger ones, the biggest ones, vanilla here. No, skip vanilla. I want star. Here we go, star. Please be colorful. Yellow. Eh, there we go. Perfect. Star, two and a half tons. Perfect. Uh, I think one is going to be enough. Uh, I think the uh, the orphanage that we're going to have is going to need uh, food, clothing, like prison. <laughs> Basically, it's prison for kids. Um, I, I know some kids uh, that grew up in orphanage, they played football with me, they, I lived near the orphanage, uh, they were like teenagers, uh, after 18 I think they have to move out, or they are being helped to start a life uh, after 18, but um, yeah, I had a couple of uh, good, really good friends as well uh, that, that came from orphanage and um, it's a tough not life, but um, yeah, a lot of them are really... Uh, decent and nice people that I know. Anyway, uh, I will not be uh, focusing on that. Okay, on supermarket. What does the supermarket had expected rating here? Hotel. Hotel is something that <clears throat> I didn't fo focus on uh, in this series as much as I should. I think we did older. Oh, wait, I didn't uh, choose new researchers. Um, yeah, let's go with the tourist visas for Soviet countries. This is what I'm interested in. Uh, how much do you need? 1,000 work days to research, that's fine. What about this university? Look, perfectly, just perfect amount of people are actually studying here. That's really nice to see. Uh, <clears throat> not over here. What's the loyalty? Loyalty, loyalty, 35%, but we still have too many... Too many kids wanting to go to university. That's not ideal. Uh, what are we going to research further? I'm thinking about importing the the hazardous waste and uh, process that even though we have a lot of hazardous waste that we need to process ourselves um i think um, i want to start getting these like uh, getting our recycling uh, recycling area up to up to speed up to whoa you're seriously kidding me like all these vehicles are suddenly all flooding here whoa three of them are delivering chemicals at the same time weird Oh, actually, my bad. It's not weird because um, 
Um, they have a decent capacity for chemicals here, six tons, and uh, yeah, we, we're gonna need all these chemicals. So yeah, so I wanted to put this in a little bit better operation. This uh, um, this area here, you can see that we have mixed waste here. I think it, it's perfectly clean, by the way. Uh, we will have ash, but there's no metals or construction waste here, so we are removing almost everything, which is great to see. Um, and uh, we are getting slowly uh, delivering. We are delivering the other mixed waste uh, to be processed. Uh, you see, metal scrap, plastic waste, biological waste. The, the, the plastic, I think, plastic still is uh, minuscule amounts. We only have 0 0.49 tons of plastic. Even though it's like small storage of 16 tons of plastic, this like 16 tons is gonna take a while to fill. And then we're gonna be able to produce our own plastic here. Well, some, some plastic from, from recycling, but that's about it. And then metals, metals are also weird. We only have a few metals, so we are still not uh, recycling those. How are we doing with the metal storage? Only two containers, wow, that's nothing, that's peanuts. What is this? This is plastic. It's only one container of plastic. Yeah, we will have a boom. We will have a boom. I'm not happy with the speed with which, with which they are removing the construction waste. Um, luckily, I did the only producer of construction waste is the... Wait. Construction waste. Uh, was it here? Uh, there was a construction waste. L let's see where the construction waste is. If we go to filters and let's try to go three kilometers, we need construction waste. Construction waste containers. Uh, this is where it's being recycled, construction waste, so forget about that. Ah, here we go. This is the one. This is where we're getting construction waste from the concrete yard. What, what, what does it mean? It means that, you know, leftover concrete that hardens on the floor. I'm pretty sure that this is what is being disposed of here, that this is the construction waste that everybody's <laughs> talking about, that this is being talked about. So, yeah, we are not disposing of this construction waste because um, we are fooled. Our storage for construction waste is full. And also my demolition office that is right here is uh, taking the construction waste straight into the gravel processing plant over here. So uh, there's no need uh, for, there's no issue with the construction at the moment. I do not, I do not want uh, my um, technical services to pick up the construction waste and then deliver it directly here. Or do I? Maybe I do. Because uh, this construction waste should be delivered by these um, <clears throat> these offices here, the, the, the waste distribution. They are in charge of distributing waste from here to the processing plants. Yeah, interesting. Okay, um, also the thing we did in last series as well, import the, um, the biological waste. Sorry, the hazardous waste. Uh, we did the, the imports of hazardous waste and uh, we... Uh, nothing ha bad happened. Everything was fine. Uh, the uh, hazardous waste gave us a lot of money. I even tried to put the train importing of hazardous waste. Well, I never finished that. Uh, but that created the need for aluminium processing. Now, the problem with that here, I did not plan for it here. I thought that I made a couple of mistakes with setting this up, but um, if I never import any waste, hazardous or otherwise, uh, we don't really need this. But I do have uh, outbound uh, conveyor belt here that I can use to deliver um, aluminium to where it belongs. That's one option. The second option is to create um, a line uh, of uh, whoever is in charge. Oh, bada boom, bada boom, one small interruption later and the, uh, we can just create another conveyor belt uh, going elsewhere. So I can do something like... Uh, tu -tu 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 like a so, but uh, looks like he doesn't like to cooperate here. Wow. 
Okay, yeah, but uh, I'm not I'm not too enthusiastic. The other option is uh, just to put a uh, dumper truck, or I think dumper truck is in charge for aluminium scrap. Uh, so let's see here, aluminium scrap. I can have this one dumper truck that has freaking 25 tons of aluminium scrap, and you can just store it somewhere, export it. Like aluminium is not really something that I'm interested in, even in recycling. Uh, I think it's minuscule amounts, and just send them away. I hope Copti is not watching this because, like, he's gonna be asking, what the freaking hell are you gonna make the helicopters from if you're not gonna have aluminium? Yeah, that's a fair point. Uh, I do want to have helicopters as soon as possible. I think financially, let's go and check the this year. Uh, actually, let's go the this month and then one month backwards. Let's check our finances. We are minus 73,000 rubles. Uh, a lot of this is um, vehicles important 13,000 that's not a lot uh, the, the, the loans balance minus 88,000 really our loans are hidden okay so what's with the exports wait a minute from 1st of March to the 5th of April we only had this much exports and only food the say what missing fabrics oh yeah um, I, 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 I mean, everybody knows what, what the deal is. Uh, we don't have enough, um, we don't have enough crops here. And actually that brings me to a more important point that, uh, we, I should have, uh, started or opened this episode with. We need a chemical, uh, we need chemical fertilizer production, guys. Yeah, we, we need that. We need that a lot. Uh, I'm just gonna have to do a little bit mathematics here. Uh, I'm actually gonna open the second on my second screen. I'm gonna do calculations here. How much crops do we need here? 23 tons and 2.26. 23 plus 2.6. Uh, 23 that's 25 times 365 that is 9000 tons of crops i think we can get this but we need to spread first of all fertilizer that is absolutely gone biological waste is uh, like uh, we are not creating enough biological waste so i'm definitely gonna have to start with the chemical fertilizers chemical fertilizer plant um, is creates pollution and i think i'm gonna have to create new industries regarding this like um maybe this would be better um uh, to focus on the the uh, here for example uh this is in range of people coming to work we have some already road infrastructure we can use distribution offices from here we have one empty to distribute chemicals so yeah uh i, I don't know if you agree with this guys or do i even care ha huh. I actually uh, am kidding, of course I care what you guys think about, but um, I will go on a limb here and assume that you guys are okay for me to create chemical fertilizer production plant here, and that would be the uh, synthetic fertilizer factory, let's call it like that, composting uh, plant that's, oh, I need to talk about that, I need to, oh, how much, how, what was the quality of water needed here? 85 percent Ooh, that's um that's interesting we can actually benefit from this here uh yeah i don't want to put it here in this empty because okay let's talk about this a little bit how are we doing with the orphanage uh we need to assign construction office that whoa broken vehicles seriously oh we're gonna have to think about this as well i think uh wait six years later and we are already seven years later we already have broken trucks Ooh, we need to find the manufacturer of those bad boys and uh, punish them somehow. Uh, bus one, off you go. I uh, mean, the old wires, bus two. Wow, these are short wires, only three work days to be finished. That's fine, because that's probably broken wire. Uh, you can go bus two on this one as well. Uh, you're not free, and four is free. So, what did we want to. I want to build the orphanage. Here we go. Orphanage. Uh, wait, which one again? Uh, four. Let's go and build orphanage. Bus four. Come on. Bus four. Yes. Uh, and higher priority. There we go. I'm kind of hoping to build a orphanage before we start. So, um, chemical fertilizer needs just chemicals and water. Uh, I think I'm gonna go and build it somewhere around here. I should be able to utilize this. Uh, this bus station, maybe. It doesn't matter, even this one is going to be fine. 
I just need to focus on... Uh, let's see where I can build this. Uh, also, farms will require... Okay, let, let's focus, focus, focus. Um, how many chemicals are we producing here? 2.7 tons. Uh, how much do you need? Chemicals, uh, half a ton. The rest of it is export for now. Actually, we need... We have the water production we need stuff distribution is there do we have any vehicle that is dedicated oh we even have a dedicated vehicle okay they're taking chemicals from here and how many chemicals do you consume half a ton okay let's say but that's been 100 productivity but i'm gonna ca ca calculate with this so let's say that we're using one ton out of these 2.7 tons that we can produce so we're gonna go and look okay, when i zoom in how the lights are going through the uh, anyway bad quality bad game huh bad game uh and that's not blinking lights by the way that's just you go left right zoom in zoom out the lights are not connected to the roof like, like they are hovering through the roof when you try to eh, whatever uh let's go and build the uh synthetic fertilizer plant <clears throat> We have a lot of infrastructure here. I'm just worried that it's polluting. And um, I think then here it's not bad. Yeah, let, let's let's give it a go here. Uh, whew, input water, output water. Water is still kind of crucial. Maybe even... What about here? Uh, what, let's see this. Um... I think if I play my cards right, let's do T. With the footpaths, I'm kind of worried here if it's going to be enough or not. So if I do this, everything else is not really important. But if I do this and then build high quality footpaths with the street lights, uh, can, can this be? No. bit too short I'm thinking about this now the question is is this far enough yes it is 361 meters so we're gonna have chemical production okay let's start uh, cracking this nut okay uh, foot uh, the uh, I don't even know what this is why this doesn't we, we can start producing this like building this as soon as possible uh, workers are gonna go that way that's not gonna be loading and unloading we're gonna need to have a chemical storage so let's get cracking with the chemical storage so all the way here and then we have no we're gonna go with the pipelines chemicals chemicals 300 tons i'm more uh, ambitious 700 tons uh, more you know what let's start like this let's start with this and then Let's see where we go from that. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put it like this. Um, rotate, rotate, rotate. No, this way. I think this way is fine. Here we go, like this. Boom. Um, this is gonna be one, only one uh, initial um, tank, but I'm gonna potentially put three tanks all together here. So what I'm gonna do is put a pumping station. Uh, that needs to be oil, underground, underground, uh, one into three, underground, F3. Uh, oh, come on. I, I'm kind of cramping everything now. I don't like this. Uh, I don't like this. Seriously, this one is underground. It takes so much freaking space. I weigh the pumping stations these days, and that's not the one that I need. I need this one. It's still huge, it's still too big for me. I don't like it, uh, but... Um, oh, wait, no, I need the... This one, right? Wait, what am I talking about? Uh, this is pipe pumping station. Pipe pumping station, and then underground. This one is what I need. It's still too big, I still think it's too big. I think it should be smaller, but fine, whatever. You do you. 
Uh, do I want to then do it this direction? I don't see why not, because pipes go in all directions. I need this, I need T, I need rotate, and boom. Uh, something like this. Uh, underground pipes from here to here. Absolutely out of the question. Mm, like this, we need input. What, what is the input? Uh, I forgot to even check what is the input. Uh, let's go F1. What's the time? Son of a gun, it's over 30 minutes already. Uh, whatever. Okay, let's just finish this then and see how our orphanage is doing. How our orphanage is destroying our economy. And I'm not kidding. Let's see. You need water. Uh, liquid heart fertilizer, chemicals and water. Okay, water is easy. Water is going to be like this. We build a pipe. How much water uh, can you consume? Uh, you can consume 15 cubic meters of water. This produces 75, I think. Let's let's check this. Let's do the math. This is 70 cubic meters of water, 15 only there, and this is consuming it. Ah, storages are full because we are we, we are out of uh, crops. Yeah, that's a little bit of a problem, but fine. You know, we'll we'll survive. Uh, 15 cubic meters, that can go the smallest one, I don't really care. Uh, oh, it does need pumping station though, so let's go and build a nice pumping station uh, in this direction. It's, uh, it's connected to electricity, so we can build it. And then we need a big pipe going in, that's what she said, and then we need uh, uh, as short as possible because we are cheapskates. And then uh, the just the pipe going over here. Uh, let's go in this direction and this direction. Small pipe. Uh, okay, water delivered. Chemicals being distributed. Well, let's go and finish the chemicals underground pipes for chemicals. Let's say that this is gonna be the first one. Yeah, I can I can do it like this. Boom! Chemicals stored in there. We need this connected to the. Um, construction network here we go and then we need uh, then we need uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Um, yeah well, what else it needs water it needs chemicals we can storage chem it can be the ke uh, chemical storage or actually can you because I squeezed everything in uh, no, we can't. I snookered myself. It's fine. I don't even want to do this because it uh, requires very little chemicals. Now, famous last words. It requires 0.3 tons of chemicals per day. It has a 4 ton capacity, so 4.5 ton capacity. That means 4.5 tons is 15 days of chemicals, uh, internal storage of chemicals. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with this. I can even have a dedicated chemical truck if I have any problems with this, but I won't. Even normal chemical distribution should work. And I think uh, slowly I should separate from uh, normal chemical distribution and um, uh, the food distribution that I have combined right now. So uh, everything has been distributed with these guys. At the moment I have capacity, it's not a problem, but uh, in the future it might be a problem. But burned. School, that's fine. I don't like school. We don't need no education. Dun, 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 dun. Or the school, the school, the school is on fire. We don't need the water. No, that's fine. Um, Anything else? Orphanage. Oh no, it's still not done. Okay, let's get locals to work here. We have crane here, so we can get all the locals to work here. How many locals gravitate to here? Not many, actually. But still, let's get all of them here. Well, this episode is going to last as long as it lasts, unfortunately, for you guys. So I said I'm going to do the orphanage thing. We're going to do the orphanage thing. Leaky doesn't break promises. That's a BS, but hey. You're watching this channel, it's your own damn fault. Right, um, greenery is missing here. Um, let's do plant, plant some greenery. Uh, of course, beech trees, until unless Leek is drunk. Uh, if you see something like um, fir trees, that means I was drunk while playing the game. All jokes aside, I was not. Uh, I just wanted to experiment with fir trees a little bit, but um, yeah, I think I'm fine with this. 
uh, which beach with beech trees. I'm happy how this is uh, finished. Uh, I, I'm okay with the mud roads. Not here though. Uh, these need to be upgraded. I do want uh, the trees really close to the buildings, you know, when the um, branches uh, spread out and the leaves start to green, they're gonna have some privacy during the... when they're doing it nasty there, making little baby soviets. Uh, that's gonna be fine. Uh, this one. Mm, good enough. Let's plant some trees there as well. Boom, boom, boom. I'm pretty sure that the orphanage is gonna require... Uh, the orphanage is gonna require some food and stuff, like I said previously, clothing, yada, yada, yada. We have all the materials, this is skyrocketing. I will assign it straight away. Oh, uh, while we wait, let's assign some other container stand. The bus number one has free buses, I don't care. Just go. Uh, panel house. Almost done. Bus number three. We don't need no water letter. Oh, this one doesn't need anything. Uh, panel house. You know what? I, uh, enough panel houses. Let's slow down on these. Uh, just because... Slow down on these. Powerful storage. A lot of this is gonna have to be finished. I think I'm gonna leave it alone for now. And let's uh, just look at this. 16 days left. Let's see what they need. Well, we, we know what they need. It's, it's like a prison. 80%, uh, 20%. And yes. And then we need to get the deliveries handled here. Where are you? Here we go. Delivery is handled. I'm gonna be playing this off screen. I'm gonna try to make it work. This should hold 180 orf orphans. That's a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, we're gonna need a lot. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need at least two more. Like I'm saying that and thinking, yeah, well, let's hope it's gonna be enough. I'm pretty sure it's not. But um, yeah, uh, this is what we're gonna do. Uh, culture of German propaganda. You know what? I think I'm gonna leave it as it is. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it as it is. Uh, also container stand here, needs to be finished, that's gonna be done shortly. There we go, Uliki promised, Uliki delivered, what the hell is this? Why is there a road here to nowhere? Containers, maybe? I don't know. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, press the my... Oh, uh, I don't know what, just, what I just built. Press the like button, if you didn't leave a nasty comment in the comment section, let me know what you think. Like, share, notification bell, ring it, comment section, hit it, and if you want to support the channel, we have the description of the video. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.